Hi, my name is Se Jung Ha. I manage and uh, lead the enterprise switching technical marketing engineering group that focuses on technologies. And we're talking about a few different topics today. So I wanted to introduce the topics and how it fits in our overall strategy. So we have uh, four presenters after me. And we're working on something we call digital network architecture, or DNA. And it's a concept that we introduced just maybe last March. And it talks about one of the key things, which is simplicity. So in terms of operating our campus networks, whether it's wired, wireless, or the network management part of it, all, all those aspects, uh, we're learning from other different areas of IT. So our products before didn't support things like programmability, for example. You know, these things were very advanced, maybe more on the server side, and we see it on the data center side. So now these things are also coming in for our campus users. And you know, that's going to be the first topic today. We're going to have Fabrizio Mazzioni talk about programmability on our enterprise switches. And then some other things that we're seeing is because you know, traditionally, the Cisco user, they would do things via CLI. And you, know, you console into the switch, or, and then you do your copy TFP flash. You know, this is the way that's been done for a long time, and people still do it this way, but really we want customers to have a lot more choices in how they want to do it, so they're not just standing there looking at the TFP flash going through. So we want them to use you know, some of the APIs that we have available, and we also have a lot of tools that are controllers, whether it's our APIC EM, our enterprise module, as well as our prime network management, where we have APIs now where you can just do it in like a batch and just upgrade many switches at the same time. So these are things that are basic, but really for the campus, you know, we're, we're in a way catching up to this new paradigm. So the other topic that we're talking about as well is something we call network as a sensor and enforcer. This is a concept where the network actually has a lot of information. There's a wealth of information in terms of the traffic and the different applications running on the network. So why not try to extract this information uh, from, let's say, the switches, the routers on the network, and capture that and send it to uh, some of our tools. And one of the tools here in this case is called StealthWatch, uh, which started as a Cisco acquisition, but now it's integrated into our products via this, their StealthWatch uh, management, where we can actually see some of the actual events that are occurring on the network. And it baselines like the normal behavior of the network. So when, let's say, someone's on the network and exfiltrating information out, they know this is not the normal behavior you know, when we're sending information to an address that's in Brazil, for example, or somewhere else that's where we don't have locations. So th this type of information uh, is built in the network and just leveraging the network to give the information out to this uh, tool. So some of the other things, the third presenter we have will be Akshay Yadav, who will talk about something we just launched, launched uh, two weeks ago, just earlier in February, we launched our digital building series switches. So. There's a lot of IoT devices in the campus area, in a carpeted area like this, where they're connecting to the network and using, using our traditional catalyst switches, for example, you know, it doesn't fit all the form factors that are needed for this uh, explosion of IoT type of devices. So there's um, a new switch and we brought a sample and we can demo that as well in that session. And you can see how it can light up things like LED lights and other devices in a digital building scenario. So you'll see how we built some new features and functionality that you won't see in the current catalyst switches just for this new series of uh, digital building switches. Okay. And, and the fourth topic today is uh, something we're calling programmable ASICs. And Mohammed Imam, who leads our platform technical marketing engineering team, he'll present that topic. So one of the key things that we're trying to do, at least from our portfolio standpoint, is to really simplify not just things for operators, but even for our engineering teams. So one of the key things that we've been doing is we've been consolidating our operating systems on multiple different platforms, so it's on one platform. And this is something that we um, briefly introduced in the past, but in our iOS 16.x, um, a few of our platforms are merging to that same version of code, so that way it's really not just by numbering the same code, uh, the c actual code is the same. So whether it's BGP, OSPF, or behavior for QoS, you know, routers, switches, and wireless, it'll be the same type of behavior. 
and the same CLI, for example. Question. Yes. I'm a, I'm a Wi-Fi guy. Are you also talking about uh, Li-Fi? Yes. Uh, because last year I was, was here, and uh, Li-Fi was not a subject. Yes. Are you talking about Li-Fi? Yeah. So, yeah. So, basically, um, it, it's something that we're partnering with one of the companies. But uh, we have a demonstration in our like NDA area here at Cisco Live Berlin, and maybe after after this, I can walk you there. But in the demonstration, we're showing how, let's say, we have a tablet sending information to the network, and then we have some LED lights, which, instead of using the access point, uh, is transmitting something that you can't perceive as a human, but the sensor on the NIC card next to this, let's say, tablet is perceiving it. So there's two sensors, one that's transmitting uh, information back up to the light, and then uh, one that's actually taking this, the various um, nuances in the lighting that are imperceptible to humans and getting data out of it. So we're actually looking at that as well for our digital building initiatives. Okay, so <clears throat> it looks like, so those are the four main topics. It's all around our digital network architecture and um, every, every presenter here is on the enterprise switching team. So we'll go ahead and get started and we'll have Fabrizio start with programmability for enterprise switches, okay? Thank you.